Hey, good afternoon, good morning. So floaters can be super, super annoying. And a lot of time they can be a normal thing, but they can also be a sign that you are about to lose your vision if you don't act quickly. Do you know how to tell the difference? Hey, I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, YouTube Eye Doctor, and today we're talking about floaters and specifically posterior vitreous detachments and the important information that you need to know to save your vision. So let's talk a little bit about the anatomy of the eye. So if you've got the eyeball, the eyeball has um, the cornea on the front, the iris next, you got the lens, you then you got the retina, which is the lining of the eyeball um, that allows the focusing. Now, the one thing that's not on this eyeball model is something called the vitreous. And the vitreous is the clear gelatin that fills up the internal portion of the eyeball. So I tell my patients to think of the vitreous as a clear balloon filled with clear jello. And if you take that water balloon filled with jello and you place it inside the eye, that makes up the normal anatomy of the eye. And then I want you to think that you take a little bit of crazy glue and put a few dabs on the retina and that will hold that water balloon into place and keep that in position and that's a normal structure of the eyeball. Now what can happen as just an aging process of our eye is that vitreous those crazy glue attachments can slowly become separated and released from the retina and that process is called a vitreous detachment and eventually that process completely separates the that water balloon from the walls of the retina and then that water balloon is free floating and sloshing around inside the eye and that process is called a posterior vitreous detachment and that happens in everybody's eyes and so there's a rule of thumb that the odds of you getting a posterior vitreous detachment is equivalent to your age so the older we get the more likely you're going to get one and some people will get symptoms with them and some people not and if you're going to get symptoms there's two symptoms you're going to typically get one is you're going to be getting floaters and the other one is flashes so first of all floaters basically when that vitreous attachment, that crazy glue attachment becomes separated, it creates a little area on that vitreous gel that's a little bit less transparent. And so when light shines into your eye, it casts a shadow on the back of the retina. And you will perceive that as these floaters, these little amoebas or pieces of lint or, you know, kind of fruit flies that are drifting around, sloshing around inside your eye. And the other symptom you can get are flashes of light. And so flashes of light are represent an area where there's an attachment to the retina where it's trying to pull away and it's tugging and pulling and pulling, but it's not quite releasing. And every tug on the retina sends a signal back to the brain as a flash of light. And so sometimes people will observe these flashes of lights in their side vision. So those are the symptoms that you can get. Okay, and so if you've learned anything new so far in this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below so you can tell YouTube the value of this video. Now, the most important thing is that about 10% of the time when someone's developing a posterior vitreous detachment and getting symptoms of floaters is that there could be an area that's so attached to the retina, instead of separating cleanly, pull on the retina and cause a little tear, kind of like when you have tape on the, the wall after painting and it can pull some of the underlying uh, paint up off underneath it. And if that happens, that's not a good thing because then fluid can get underneath that tear and start to lift off the retina and you can start to develop a retinal attachment and that's a bad thing. So the only way to know if you have a tear or not is not by the symptoms, but you need an eye doctor to take a look inside your eye to see if there's any breaks or tears. And we have lots of different ways we can dilate your people. We have photographs that we can take images at the back of your eye and we can look for tears. And so there's two scenarios that are gonna happen. One is we're gonna take a look in the, inside your eye and 90% of the time when we look inside your eye, we're not gonna see any tears or breaks and that's a good thing. And if that's the case, then we're just gonna monitor for any changes. Now, about 10% of the time, there might be a tear, and if there is a tear, then we're gonna send you off to see one of the retinal specialists, and they're gonna do some type of treatment to try to seal that up. Usually use a laser to seal that up to prevent that tear from spreading and developing into a retinal detachment. So the key is for an eye doctor to take a look and you don't want to wait. So if you're having symptoms of flashes or floaters, particularly new ones, you want to make sure you contact your eye doctor right away, call your optometrist, and most optometrists, if you call them and tell them you're having new symptoms of flashes of lights or floaters in your vision, they're going to get you in that same day or the next day to make sure they take a look and look for any retinal breaks or tears. Now the important thing that I tell my patients when they first present with symptoms of flashes and floaters and we take a look and I don't see any breaks or tears is that I tell them that likely you have a partial vitreous detachment, which means that some of the that vitreous is pulled away, but there's probably still some attached to the retina. And so I tell them that over the next couple of months, that vitreous will be slowly separating away. And if their symptoms are staying the same or getting better, relax, take it easy, don't worry about it. But 
if your symptoms change, if you get new flashes, new floaters, even if it's the next day, that could be a new area where there's a tear that's developed. And the only way to know if there's a tear is for your eye doctor to take a look and see if there is. So I tell my patients, any new flashes, new floaters, something changing for the worse, even though it was good today, if tomorrow you're noticing a change, come in and see me and we'll make sure that there's not any sign of any breaks or tears. Now, the good news is if you don't typically develop a break or tear within the first couple of months of first developing symptoms, likely you're not going to. But if you ever notice any changes and if you notice anything happening in the other eye, make sure you see your eye doctor so they can take a look and look for any tears or breaks. So that tells you a little bit what you should be doing if you get new symptoms of flashes and floaters. And if you want to know a little bit more about floaters, you can watch this video here. And with that, have a great optometry day.